Hello, hello everybody. I got some things that is really going to blow the socks out of the Democratic Party. Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Huckleby, all you people on your shows. I'm going to ask you to look at your two dollar bill on the back side. There's somebody there. It's very important. I refer to the lost history of the United States. Probably the most important part of the United States history was after the Revolutionary War to the Constitution of the United States. Because that is where our country was really gelling together. That was where it was becoming a nation. And there are some very, very important, very important people that were involved in the Revolutionary War, but still also involved with the Constitution of the United States and the United States of America when it first formed. For one information, George Washington was actually the eighth president of the United States of America. There were seven other presidents before him under the Articles of Confederation, but they still are presidents of the United States. But this one tonight is going to take the win out of the Democratic Party sales. This one's going to wipe out all their claims about their anointed one, the first black American president. It is as falsely claimed as saying George Washington is the first president of the United States. It is a falsehood. It's a lie, a real lie. How? Let me give you an example how. I'm going to read you a few things that this man did. Okay. After the signing of the Articles of Confederation, once the signing took place in 1871, a president was needed to run the country. This man was chosen unanimously by Congress, which included George Washington. In fact, all other potential candidates refused to run against him. As he was a major player in the revolution, that's our war, remember? and an extremely influential member of Congress. Obama, listen to this, because this is going to shock even you. As the first president, this man had quite a job to fill. No one had ever been president of this country, and the role was poorly defined. His action in office would set the president's for all presidents of the future, and therefore followed. This man established the great seal of the United States, which all presidents have since been required to use as on all official documents. This man established the first Treasury Department, Secretary of War and the First Foreign Affairs Department. Also, this man declared that the fourth Thursday of every November was to be Thanksgiving Day, which is still true today. That's right. Not Abraham Lincoln. Now, because the Articles of Confederation only allowed a president to serve one year term through any three year period, this man was the very first president of the United States. And in that one year time, accomplished all this. He was actually president of the United States, was the first president of the United States from 1781 to 1782. The man's name is John Hanson, H-A-N-S-O-N. This man was actually in Congress until, gosh, he was also there at the crafting and the designing of the Constitution of the United States.
and I believe he was from Maryland. Yeah, Maryland. No, uh, until November 77, Maryland refused to sign in until Virginia and New York ceded their western lands. Maryland was afraid that it would gain lose too much power to Virginia. Maryland and New York held out. Okay, the new country was actually formed on March 1st, 1781. So 1781 to 1782, he served as president. John Hanson. Can you see this picture of him? Let me see if I can get it in there. Look at it. That's him. Yes, you're seeing it right, everybody. John Hanson, read it. A black man, a Moor, John Hanson, was the very first president of the United States of America. If it wasn't for this man, our country would not exist. Actually, when he took office just after the Revolutionary War ended, almost immediately the troops demanded payment, and as would be expected after a long war. But there was no funds to meet their salaries. As a result, the soldiers threatened to overthrow the new government and put Washington on the throne as a monarch. All Congress ran to save their life and left Hanson, the only guy left running the government. Somehow he managed to calm the troops down and hold the country together. If he had failed, the government would have fallen almost immediately and we would be having a king. I want you all to think about this. A man who without this country would not be here today. A man who proves how great this country's potential is. A man who was a Moor today, I believe those are Muslims, and he was black. Obama, you are not the first black president. Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, all you other talk shows, it just goes to show you the Democrats are no different than the Republicans. They base their fact on inaccuracy and lies. They overlook the truth. This is important. This is very important. And actually history should have shown this. When you change history and make it convenient you end up like the Soviet Union. That's where we're heading. We must learn the history of the Constitution, where it came from, how it came into existence. We must learn about the Articles of Confederation. We must learn about our seven other presidents before George Washington. Because this is very valuable history showing how great this nation was. And world, yes, that's right, the great nation of the United States of America, very first president, was a black man. Think about that, everybody. The truth is what matters, and only the truth. And that I will stand on. Some of you out there will hate me. I know. You try to deny it. This history started to be deteriorated after the Civil War. Up until then, it was very important. This history shows, truthfully, how great this nation can be. Not built up on the lies of the Democrat Party or the Republican Party. We need to understand the truth, to look for the truth, to question. 
And believe me, it took me a long time and a lot of searching. I had his name, and it was very hard to find. Again, John Hanson, H-A-N-S-O-N, a black man, a Moor, was actually the very first president of the United States. His actions as the president set the precedents and guidelines for the president office today. Thank you. Have a nice day. This is J.D.